Well, you know, between both federal and state courts and the Supreme Court, there have been some significant decisions in just the last few weeks. But what about the people they actually affect? State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien explores the issue and what those on both sides are saying. It's been a series of both wins and losses for the LGBTQ community this summer in Tennessee. The last couple of weeks have been a roller coaster. Ray Holloman is transgender and chairs up the Tennessee Transgender Task Force. He transitioned about seven years ago. I was like, maybe I'll be comfortable just being a very masculine lesbian. And I just was like, nope, this isn't it. I need to transition and be able to really feel like I am truly myself. And so that's why. And I've not looked back and been happier ever since then. In June, federal courts in Tennessee paused new laws restricting drag and gender affirming care for minors. But at the same time, the Supreme Court ruled that businesses could refuse to serve LGBTQ customers in some cases. And a federal judge dismissed a lawsuit seeking to allow Tennesseans to change the sex designations on their birth certificates. It's just kind of like we win a couple, we lose a couple, and I think that's this battle we keep seeing. But I think ultimately we're going to come out on top. National Republicans have lauded the Supreme Court decision, while state and local Republicans have condemned other decisions from federal judges. All we're saying is just leave kids out of this. And so I'm disappointed in that aspect of the judge's ruling. I'm particularly disappointed that there's not even been a factual finding on these issues yet. When it comes to the gender affirming care ban, a federal judge left in place a ban on surgical procedures. He also left in place the opportunity for lawsuits against doctors, but took out criminal penalty aspects of the law. I'm hoping that the fact that that civil liability provision still remains, that a doctor is going to think very long and hard before they prescribe these very harmful drugs to these kids. Naturally, Holloman disagrees. Being able to transition is life-saving care like I was depressed for so many years because I just didn't fit in I didn't feel like I was like something was wrong in Nashville Chris O'Brien now the so-called drag law is still in limbo along with the gender-affirming care ban the Supreme Court decision by the way of course is final